Oh, hello guys, welcome back. I want to talk to you about Loki and when it is time to actually give stuff up because we can never stop because we're Americans and we never give up, ever! And that's why our lives suck and our therapists make so much money because we won't quit stuff that's killing us. Because we won't give ourselves permission because only losers quit and you have to keep going no matter how much it hurts and it's bullshit. That's bullshit. Horse shit if you like horses better. Um, how I came to that amazing conclusion is, you know, I'm working with Freyr. Um, amazingly, Scotty came in and she's been amazing. And I'm working with all these gods and goddesses. And it feels like Odin, you know, is poking around. So I have all this Norse energy or German energy, whatever you want to call it. And I tried to do something for the other channel, video game related. We're not even going to say what it is. I almost had a nervous breakdown. Now, everything that happened made sense. Give me one second. I want to grab something to show you. Well, no, I don't have to grab it to show you. Um, Chocolate lipstick, right? <sighs> On Amazon, it looked chocolate. It said brown, and I thought what they meant was reddish brown. And it looked red. And if you smear it really, really thinly on your skin, it looks red. On, it looks like it reminds me of the Hershey's chocolate lip balm I have, but it actually stays in place. So, that happened. I saw 10, 10 today, which means new beginnings. Um, I kept seeing this stuff on Pinterest about new beginnings. And... I got rid of all the gaming boards because I'm like, I'm going to start fresh. I don't need this crap hanging around in my energy. I'm going to start fresh. Don't you know that anytime you get rid of a board on Pinterest, Pinterest is like the obsessive stalker X that won't let you go. Are you sure here's 50 things of the board you just got rid of? About? No, damn it. I'm sure. I'm trying to move on with my life. And I think what that happened is Loki and everyone else were like, well... Here's what's happening. You are trying to move on with your life. You're saying you're trying to move on with your life. But yeah, here you are. Um, covering if Scott does something. And it's like, do you want to move on with your life? Or are you, you know, lying about it? And you want something else. What do you really want with your life? And part of why I wasn't moving on was I do have trust issues. I'm like, it's it's really hard as an adult to trust your gods and I'm honest about this, to always, always, always be there with you. Yeah, we can say it when things are going great and everything, but, you know, when you're stuck in, like, I feel like a, being stuck in a dead-end job, and you're not making any money, and, like, your whole, you feel like everything depends on, like, other people's charity, like, you know, with the patronage and that, you're, like, you're not in a happy place. So... I thought, you know what, I'm just, I am totally walking away from that channel, because even with all the shit I was putting myself through, I still wasn't making any money, okay? It, it is monetized, but it being monetized is total horseshit, because I wasn't making any money. So, I'm walking away from that channel, I'm totally walking away, and if people can't live with that, that's fine, they can go get therapy. They spent all the money they never gave to me, you know, to support me when I was saying, hey guys, I really need support, all the months I was saying, I really need support, they can go spend that money on a therapist. I don't give a shit. And as you can clearly see, what I had to do is get pissed off about it. When I was sad... I couldn't really make the break. When I got pissed off, I'm like, that's enough of this or shit. You're, you're getting out of my life. Or uh, there's going to be a damn big burn pile and everything for now is going to go into it. And I will, too. And thankfully, it got everything out of my life that I needed out of my life. And sometimes you have to do that. Now... What I'd really like to do is destroy the other channel completely, just straight up get rid of it so I have all that horse shit out of my life. But I'm like, well, logically, it is a monetized channel. I will just leave it alone, and if I ever feel up to running two channels, it will become a second pagan channel and fuck people that don't like it. Sorry for my language, but, you know, it's been two years of horse shit, of dealing with people going, you're not doing what I want, and I want you to do this, and I finally had enough of shit. 
So, yeah, I have had enough. And Loki will be like, well, what are you going to do now that you've had enough? What are you really going to do? Are you going to stand up and say, I'm mad as hell and I won't take this anymore? Or are you going to be like, mm, go back to taking it after, you know, you've had your vent? So, yeah, totally getting rid of the FNAF stuff. And I'm doing it in my own life, too. Like, I got rid of the crappy FNAF umbrella. I did not throw it away, but I, like, threw it in the cupboard as a backup umbrella. But really, it's a piece of shit. Like, I had it out this morning, and, like, I was getting fucking rained on and everything. And that that was, like, really great for my mood, because it kept blowing inside out and everything. I thought, you know what? This is stupid. I'm not living some kind of lifestyle where, like, two years ago, where it was all exciting adventure. Now it's just sad and pathetic. I'm going to carry an umbrella that works. The only reason I'm going to carry the bag and the jacket is because they they work and they're useful. But I'm I'm changing. Um, I don't know what I'll do as to decor. Right now it's still cold as shit, so I like having all the stuffing in here <laughs> because it helps insulate but yeah I was like I'm I have to change because it, it's no good for me to stay stuck somewhere and sometimes we get like that we're stuck somewhere because we're so afraid and we're not trusting the gods to take care of us so we stay in that shitty job and we stay you know in a horrible lifestyle and we're like well someday magically thinking you know magically thinking is what I call it when you think things that you know are logically never going to happen. It has nothing to do with actual magic. It's like magically thinking that the Dead as Fuck channel is going to take off. And it's not. Let's just be clear. It's not. And magically thinking, all the magically thinking in the world that I'm going to one day wake up and be, you know, a superstar YouTube host is not going to change stuff. It's dead as fuck. It's always going to be dead as fuck. It's deader than fuck some days. So, you know, I'm not going to change that. But what I can do when I'm ready is say, well, I'm going to make out what I want it to be. And sure shit ain't going to have anything to do with video games or FNAF. Fuck FNAF. So it's not going to have anything to do with those things. <laughs> and I can, like, feel like everything in this room practically. You know what I mean? It's like, uh-oh. She's got that burn pal look in her eyes. So, yeah, I am... I am done. I am done. And I will just move on with that channel at some point when I am ready. It will either be Pagan or it will be something else. But it's not going to be video games. Because I'm like, if I see one more game, I'm just going to beat the nearest person I can find unconscious. And that's what's going to happen. So... But that would have never happened if I hadn't been working with Loki, who insisted on Freya coming in, who insisted on Scotty coming in, which kind of opened up the doors for more of the Norse energy to come in, because I had kind of, like, segmented them off, because, um, let's a minute, there are a lot of elitist, racist assholes who claim to be, you know, heathens and worship the Norse gods, and... So I was cutting off a large segment of the gods, which we shouldn't do. But I was like, I don't want to be involved in that shit. I don't want anyone to think I'm a racist. You can't even go on Pinterest and look up Thor or Odin or something without some jackbooted Nazi flag-waving white supremacist bullshit coming up in your feed. And it's like, that's not me. Fuck the Nazis. Kill them all. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just feeling very liberated. So I will have him here. So I'll probably talk more about Thor and Odin and everyone. But I could tell I was like holding them back and they were actually being very polite gentlemen about it and waiting because they've been here occasionally but they've known that it's really hard to separate them. It's really hard for us as pagans as which is I refuse to call myself a heathen to separate these gods from all this hate. It's like if all you ever saw of Westboro Church, yeah, of Jesus was Westboro Church, that's what you would think about him. When the most vocal people on the planet about our gods end up spouting Nazi bullshit like halfway through the video, because they seem normal at first, and then all of a sudden it's about, well, the Jews are the cause of all of our problems. You're like, oh, fuck it, man. And... 
I, I want to kind of try to prove on the channel that that doesn't have to be the default if you work with the All Father or Thor or anyone else. And so having Jensen the other channel until like I need it, like in the future if I need to pick it up, it's a monetized channel. Um, and we're having 40 oh, per hour plus winds plus snow tonight, so we're having Nordic weather, Germanic weather, Swedish weather, English weather weather. Remember, they work the English people as well, so people that tell you English people can't work with them are full of shit. Learn your fucking history. So yeah, I'm <laughs> full of like piss and vinegar tonight, but I'm feeling pretty good. I swear it's this lipstick, or it's just having worked with our gods and realizing this stuff had to go. I don't let go of it. And Loki is the god of transformation. He's the god of starting that fire pal and like throwing all the shit you no longer need on the pal and burning it. And he will be dancing around merrily. And you sometimes you need to get really pissed off so that you can join him in the dance and be like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's gone. No. Later on, you might be like, oh my god, what did I just do? I just burnt all my bridges. I can't go back. And Loki will be like, yeah, that's why you burnt them. So. Even if I have, you know, burner's remorse over the next couple of days, I don't care. I would much rather do something cool on the other channel that I actually am into. Video games are not it anymore, ever. So I am like totally burnt out on that shit. It's like I'm totally burnt out on writing. I haven't written anything really seriously in over two years, so it's not going to happen. So, yeah, I'm like, I need to move on, and I need to make that channel something that I care about. Maybe another pagan channel, maybe something else, maybe... I don't know yet, but we'll see. But, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I think I did, like, a whole month's worth of cussing there, but it, it felt good. That's actually me calmed down, that is. That's, that's me calmed down, and I unsubscribe from... Game Jolt, so I don't have to put up with their horse shit. It's like, awesome. I don't have to hear about these damn games people want money for. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I feel awesome. I hope you feel awesome, and I'll see you guys later.